Hi, Professor Lister. Uh, thank you for coming all the way from Germany to give mock lecture at TGS this week. So, could you uh, please introduce yourselves? Yes, thank you so much. Yeah, it's always a pleasure for me to be here in Bangkok at TGS. I am a guest lecturer here since 2005, so I have uh, seen TGS growing and growing and growing, and it's a pleasure to be here this year again. Um, so my name is Horst Lichter, I'm head of the research construction group at RWTH Aachen where we are doing research in software engineering in very different fields. Um, so software is something that is of real importance nowadays because it is ubiquitous. So that means uh, in almost all modern products software plays a very important role, not only in the products but also in the services, if you, for example, think about e-governance and things like that. And that means that we as a society need to have a certain ability to deal with software and software development. Um, and therefore, um, education in software engineering is crucial, not only for computer scientists, but also for any kind of engineers. Um, we are doing in Germany a very um, industry-related uh, teaching and research and that pretty fits to the goals of uh, TGGS. And therefore all the students that has been in Germany, in Aachen, doing internship and master thesis under my supervision, they dig into real software life and they get a lot of experience that as far as I know, help them for their future professional career. Yes, I, I heard from, from the student who, who been to Aachen that, that the experience changed their life. They gain a lot of experience working with the company that directly involved in a lot of software uh, developments. So uh, I, I wondered why why company would want to to, to invest their people into learning uh, software engineering. As it goes back to what I uh, uh, said before, uh, so we need to have our organization and companies need to have people that have a skill, a high skill on software development. And uh, this investment always uh, pays back very soon because um, and that it shows uh, the past and that it's the present and it will be the future, we have to build software systems of a high quality in order that they contribute to our success in the market. And if we do not have uh, people in our organization that have the right skills, so we will not be able to produce what has to be produced. And that would lead maybe to be not so competitive than we want to have. That means investment in software engineering capabilities and software engineering know-how and knowledge is a good one for all kinds of companies. So, so not only the company that makes software as their core business, but company that do, do all sorts of things still need to invest in in the capability in software engineering, right? So uh, we heard about that people high outsource company compared to 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 high to high directly uh, the software development team inside the company. So what what are these difference in, in important for the company or not? Um, based on on my experiences, and I'm now in the field for many many years, um, I think it's very important that um, all companies who have software as part of their products are building up knowledge centers, building up uh, knowledge in order to be able to invent what has to be invented to make the products competitive for the next generation or for the next years. Uh, and that means the organizations and the companies they need to have people inside the organization that are responsible for the software part. And software is not only a cost driver, it is something that brings innovation into the project, 
projects and into the products. And therefore, um, the investment in software development teams inside the organization uh, is something that is of a high importance and should be on uh, yeah, the highest priority. Wow, thank you so much, Professor Lista. So thank you again for coming for the Brock Lecture and have uh, attracts more and more students for the TES. Right. Thank you.